Hi everyone, my name is Ridhima Pande. I'm 13 years old and I'm a climate activist from India. I came into activism after witnessing a very devastating flash flood in my own home state Uttarakhand. The flash flood washed away many houses and agricultural lands. Many animals and people died because of that flood and many kids lost their families, homes and everything else that they had. I took my first action by filing a petition against the government of India in 2017 and in 2019 I along with 15 other child petitioners including Greta Thunberg filed a complaint at United Nations under Child Rights Committee to protect the child rights. I believe that children are the primary victim of climate change impacts but have no say in decision making. Through activism, we can also make our opinions and concerns heard. Therefore, MockUp is an excellent platform to discuss and share ideas, knowledge, and diverse com common solutions and strategies to deal with the global problem of climate change. As youth activists across the globe assemble together for this program, we will also get to learn more about the different national perspectives challenges and priorities. It will give us a great opportunity to demand more actions from our world leaders on climate crisis because in the very end, we youth are going to be the one facing all the consequences of the decision taken today. MoCOP is also a very good opportunity to lend a voice to the common concerns of the global youth on the ineffectiveness of current system and the way forward. In my country, India, the government does not take climate crisis and environment as a first priority and are destroying it by giving forest clearances to many projects in the sake of development without even thinking about how it is going to affect us and the local people living there in long term. And the best example for this can be the Chadham project proposed at Uttarakhand. The Indian government is pursuing a 900 km long Chadam highway project in the ecologically sensitive zone of Uttarakhand, connecting four major Hindu pilgrimage sites. According to the government, it involves improvement and development of 889 km length of national highway at the estimated cost of approximately 117 billion. The lesser Himalayas have a history of frequent landslides because of their recent origin and are therefore unstable and in such an ecologically sensitive area, the centre decided to launch a project to improve road connectivity. They are saying that it's going to be very helpful to the tourists and the state, and the state itself. Because of this, the landslides has increased a lot as that Himalayan range is the youngest mountain range. This is affecting the local people living there and it's also destroying the environment and wildlife over there. It would be a good idea to also acknowledge that while we may be on track with regards of attaining two out of three climate targets, we are very far from achieving our target regarding the increasing carbon sinks. I am very hopeful that we youth will be able to bring common, easy and effective solutions to tackle climate change all over the world and would show the world leaders that if they include young minds into decision makings, then we can solve any problem as big as climate crisis. Thank you.